The state government's main goal is pretty simple, to make sure things are running smoothly for all Ohio residents. They're in charge of maintaining law and order, providing public education, administering healthcare and social welfare programs, overseeing transportation and infrastructure, regulating business and commerce, collecting taxes and more. Let's talk about Ohio's three branches of government in a way that's easy to understand. First, we have the legislative branch. They're the ones who make the laws. The legislative branch consists of 99 Ohio House of Representatives and 33 Ohio Senators, collectively called the General Assembly. Ohio representatives are elected to two-year terms, with a term limit of four consecutive two-year terms. Ohio Senators are elected to four-year terms, with a term limit of two consecutive four-year terms. Overall, the purpose of Ohio's legislative branch is to provide a forum for the representation of the people of Ohio and make decisions on issues that impact their lives. The executive branch is responsible for enforcing the laws and administering the policies and programs that are created by the legislative branch. The governor is the head of this branch and is elected to serve a four-year term, limited to a maximum of two consecutive four-year terms. The judicial branch is responsible for interpreting the laws and providing impartial and fair interpretation of Ohio's laws and constitution. It consists of the Supreme Court, Court of Appeals, and trial courts working together to ensure justice is served consistently and equitably. There is no term limit for judges, but they must be elected before the age of 70. So there you have it, the three branches of Ohio's government. It might seem a little confusing at first, but they all work together to make sure our state is running smoothly. How a bill is made in Ohio. A bill is a formal written legal instrument introduced by a member of the General Assembly to enact, amend, or repeal a state law. The process of how a bill becomes law can be fairly complicated and time consuming. A bill can be introduced by either a legislator in the Ohio House of Representatives or the Ohio Senate. The legislator will work on bill language with the Legislative Services Commission, a nonpartisan agency that provides the Ohio General Assembly with drafting, research, budget, and fiscal analysis, training, and other services. There are several steps after introduction, including committee action, floor action, defeat or enactment, approval or disapproval by the governor, and possible legislative reaction to the governor's action. Since Ohio's General Assembly is a bicameral, or two-house legislature, several steps must occur in each house consecutively. That is, after the first house completes action on a bill, the bill is sent to the second house where the process is repeated. Enactment occurs after both houses have passed and agreed on identical bills. Of course, enactment of a bill does not necessarily mean that the proposal becomes law. Action by the governor and possible legislative reaction will occur after enactment. It should be noted that most bills do not become law. Most bills survive only a few of the steps required for enactment. For example, the 133rd General Assembly introduced 1,189 bills, 114 of which became law. In the 134th General Assembly, which were the years 2021 to 2022, 175 of the 1,124 bills that were introduced became law. For more information on the state branches of government or how a bill becomes a law, please visit lsc.ohio.gov.